Okay, so putting together my new, my DIY longboard electric skateboard. Um, I'm just going to go through the paces and what, what I bought and what I had to do. Okay, so land yachts, board, and I bought the 15 inch uh, double kingpin trucks off of uh, Flipsky, Flipsky, whatever you want to call it, Flipsky.net. Took a while to get here, but uh, pretty nice. They came with, I bought them with the motor mounts, um, and I'm actually going to put them a drop through. So I just had to pull these off, put it through the other side, put everything back together. The motor mounts, um, I've had to kind of play with them a little bit because you'll see this wire is right up against this here. So trying to, with this lip, trying to put it any other way, it just kind of sticks out. And there's no way to get this straight, right? So what I ended up doing, the one of the YouTubers I talked to, he just said just keep cranking on the screws and it'll get straight. But I didn't want to mess with I didn't want to mess with that connection right here. So I ended up taking a angle grinder and just grinding that down here so that it's a little bit closer to this. Once I did that, it's, you can see that I actually, once I crank it down with the screws, it's a little bit more in line. Okay, so um, the motors I got off of AliExpress, they're 6354, um, 140. KV, yeah, from Flip Sky as well, and I need to I actually need to shave that down a little bit more. So that's going to be doing right now. And clean that up a little bit. Do the next one. Okay, so I noticed that they're fairly wide from here to here. And I did that specifically so that when I place it, I need to adjust for the, the belt tension. That wire is going to move quite a bit. Um, let me show you. So you can see. 
Can you see? There we go. So you can see that wire right there is going to move, depending on the, the belt tension, it's going to move up and down quite a bit. So I wanted to allow for that. But now you can see that uh, the pulley is going to be flat once I put those screws in there. So anybody else having this issue, don't just crank down the screws. Or maybe if you have a different motor mount, then you might have this issue. This one has, has these little wells that the screws go into. You can see there, and it has this little this lip, which is just kind of odd. Anyway, so now to put the some uh, Loctite on these and get them onto the trucks. That's what I'm using. So, if you have one that you prefer better, do it. Okay, that's that. Make sure this is the right one. I've used a uh, you know, the five sixteenths screwdriver just to get those really tight, tighten down in there. So next thing I gotta do, well, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But just so uh, you're aware of how this this build's gonna go, I have eight inch tires, um, eight inch tires I got from MBS along with the 72 teeth pulley. Um, the belt I had to get from Amazon. I had to look for 400, 400 millimeter 5M. And the, the pair of them cost like 17 bucks. And then the bearings because the trucks are 15 inches, the the diameter here is uh, 10 millimeters. So I'd find 10 millimeter this, and the wheels, the hubs were 28. So I had to find a 10, 10 by 28 by 8 bearing, and. Um, Gosh, who did I get those through? I actually tried getting some, some from uh, MBS, some 9.5 millimeter. And those didn't work. I'd actually get, you have to get the 10. So once I put those in, I was able to get the, the pulley on there. And they were great. I mean, you can see that. Nice and smooth. Um, inflate those up. That's really nice. So next what I'm gonna do is um, get the motors, get the motors on here, screwed into place, and uh, make sure they line, line up nice with the, the pulley here. So that'll be next. Oh, the last thing I was gonna say was that um, using Fox Box, um, with the VX2 remote, which is really nice. And I am using the Ego battery as the, as the battery source. So 
I have a lot of Ego products, and so this battery is it's a 56 volt. Um, this one's a four amp hour, but I have two and a half and five and uh, seven and a half. So those are for bigger projects. But for this one, we're gonna be doing the Ego and uh, see see which one it, uh, which one it likes. Um, see which one works better. Yeah, so stay tuned to the next one. Okay, if anybody's interested, um, I'm actually doing a lot of these projects. There's the, there's the board over there. Um, doing all these uh, because I'm trying to see how much I can do with just solar power. So the Ego batteries, I'm gonna be charged for my solar system. Um, I have a 30 amp EP ever that's running right now. There's not much sun inside, it's pretty pretty overcast right now. But uh, here's my system, uh, pure sine wave inverter, and then they all go down to a bunch of, right now I have lead acid batteries, but I have uh, 210, 210 amp hours uh, in parallel. So if anybody's interested, just uh, shoot me in the comments if you're interested on, on how I set this up. Okay, bye.